more balanced? Are you disappointed by the first half or are you encouraged by the second half performance? Both. I think in the first half <laughs> we deserve to be to be losing. And in the second half we don't deserve to be to be losing. The first half was their half and they got what they deserve. In the second half we were the best team, we didn't we didn't get what we deserve. So clearly um, disappointed with the first half. Disappointed with some really poor individual performances that affect the the global performance of of the team. And in the second half, uh, very pleased with with many things. Disappointed with the result, and disappointed with two very important decisions from uh, Mark that um, were against us. Could you elaborate on those, on those two decisions? I know you've said on television that you thought it should be penalties, but can you just isolate the incidents yeah. and say why you thought they were penalties? Because I know the rules of the game, and you as a, a, a top journalist in the country, I think you also know the rules of the game. So you just want me to tell what you know that is true, you want in my words, but I think has has more credibility if... Uh, the words are coming from you than from me, because from me are the words coming from the manager that lost the game, has more credibility if it comes from, from you, and it's obvious that is a penalty and a red card to Bravo. If he's outside the box, is a, a direct free kick and a red card. Inside the box is more difficult, is more difficult because it's a big decision, and sometimes referees are like us, they are human, and they think twice before big decisions. Sometimes they don't think twice. And there's a penalty and a red card with a, a big possibility of 2-2 two -two with a long time to go. So in here, we would be speaking about a completely different story. And the second penalty is Otamendi handball, which I believe that some of you um, will say that's not a penalty. I say 100% because um, Otamendi tries to stop the cross in the face of the goal, but the cross comes behind him. He knows, and he brings the second arm back. The first arm is the one that is close to his body. The second arm is the one that he moves behind. Clear penalty. So we were punished by that. But we were also punished by our very bad uh, first half. And that's football. And mistakes from the referee are football too. Jose, you mentioned that you were disappointed in the first half from a coach's perspective. What were you disappointed with from your team? Look, I, I made uh, a couple of decisions that I thought um, the individual qualities of certain players would give me what I, I, I know that I want, and I didn't get it. Um, at the same time, because we were losing the ball so, so easily, under the, the pressing they were making, we were never able to bring the defensive line up. So we stay with the defensive line in our half. We you tempted to change it because you looked at one stage. Look, I didn't change after 20 minutes because I don't want to destroy the players. Um, I didn't want to make three changes at half time because I was afraid in long 45 minutes somebody to, to happen. But if it was a sport with three number of, of changes and where uh, the changes during the first half is something normal, like basketball and ball, this kind of stuff, I would do after, after 20 minutes. But um, I did that half time. We changed the direction of, of the game, but we didn't get the compensation I think we deserve in, in the second half. Those changes at half time, <coughs> obviously Mkhitaryan and Mendoza coming off, Rashford, Guerrero coming on. Do you then look at yourself and feel that you got that? That wrong now with hindsight, using those two at the start. It was not just about them. Uh, other players were not also were not also playing um, really well, um, and obviously, it's always my my decision. I don't like to go in the direction of 
of the players and single out players and you know let's say our team didn't play well in the first half and um, the responsibility is, is my responsibility and point. Jose, did, you said in the build-up and Pep did that it was about the players. Actually, the hindsight was the game about the managers, the way Pep set up, the way you reacted to it, the way he tried to counter your changes. Was that the story of the game in a way? I don't think so. I think the, 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 the thing that they did in previous matches of bringing the fullbacks inside for the building up, they didn't. They didn't. Um, they respect, they respect our our capacity to attack through the winds. I think uh, they thought about Valencia. They thought about Luke Shaw. They thought about our wingers. They they didn't do that. They brought stones into that space a few times, so we didn't have a tactical problem. We had problems with with poor performances. We lost the ball very very easy. Even our defenders, our central defenders that were really top class until today. Today they lost easy balls, bad passes, first first station passes from Bay to Fellaini, from Blind to, to Pogba. We lost the ball in, in this kind of positions. So it was not um, it was not Mickey and uh, and and Jesse it was much more than Mickey and and, uh, and Jesse. As I, I was telling uh, I, c I cannot make, I can, but I did before, but it's a big risk to change three players immediately. So we did what the gestion of the game, the way we thought was, was possible. And then in the end, we gamble with, uh, with everything and we play man-to-man uh, -man in the back and man-to-man -man with players that were uh, Valencia in South America until yesterday, uh, Eric Bailly in, in Africa, Delhi Blind, two matches with Holland to leave them in a one against one situation in the last part of uh, of the game is obviously a big risk, but I think we 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 had to try everything to try to change the the result. I think we did enough for that, and um, obviously it's uh, it's hard to say, but uh, the reality is that. Uh, Penalty red card with 25 minutes to go, 30 minutes, I don't know. In this moment, we are speaking about a completely different, uh, different match. So we were punished by our bad first half, my responsibility. We were punished by Mark in the, with his bad decisions in the second half. But that's football. OK, last two questions, Gwilin and Simon. The attitude of the, of the players changed in the second half, they were more intense, more aggressive. Was it down to um, whatever you said at half time? No, no, because what I said at half time, I, I, I told them in the last three days, instead of 10 minutes, much more. So every time we were preparing the, 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 the game, every time we were analyzing uh, and trying to reduce the unpredictability of the game. We, we spoke about, about these situations. What I told them at half time was that for some of you, it looks like you are trying to do what I told you not to do. And, and, and was, was this, I told 20 times to Bay, never play a first station ball. Never, never play because this is where they want to press. Never do that. He did 20 times during the game. <laughs> so I, I, I think really some of the boys, they felt the dimension of the game. I think they felt the dimension of, of the game. The, everything around the game, the derby, the big game, Man, Man United, Man City, um, the focus, the attention. I, f I felt that some of the guys, they, they, they felt it. But it has nothing to do with uh, an experience or with age, because you have the kids then in the second half and the kid looks like he, he was playing uh, in the under 18s against uh, Salford City. So it's about the individual and every individual react to the dimension of the occasion in, in, different, in, different, um, in different ways. So it's, it's difficult to, to predict. Only gets easier when you know the players very, very well. When you work with them one month, two months, three months, four months, you see how they react in, in some circumstances, you try to get them. 
and you try to get a better feeling. So probably in the next, uh, I don't say Man United, Man City, because it's only in a few months, but maybe in the next um, big game in, in the Premier League, probably I know who can accept accept well the dimension of of the game, which is very important. Jose, <coughs> you said that if it had not been for the fact that you could have killed the players, that you would have made changes after 20 minutes, so you obviously knew it was going wrong. As a manager, you just stood there thinking, that please don't let this game go out of our, our hands. You no, know, I was waiting for the, 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 the game to finish 1-0 at half-time. That what I was I was waiting for. Were you hoping for it? Or hoping for. Hoping for, because we were not in in control and the team was not was not improving and it's difficult to improve only by by words on the on the touch line. You can give a little little tips but not but not so easy. So in the first half we were doing many things wrong and I knew it that in the half time could change things. I knew that the half time I could bring a different direction to the game. I knew that I knew that. And in fact I told the players we are losing to one. Uh, I think we can win this game. We can perfectly win this this game. So I knew that the, 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 the half time could have a, an impact. At certain impact that ten minutes after Guardiol was playing Fernando. Uh, that's the dimension of the of the of the impact. Uh, take one one uh, attacking player and play and play Fernando as a defence midfield player. That that was immediately the click of also they were feeling what was going on. And what was going on normally would end with a different result. We miss a few chances and Mark missed two big decisions. Okay guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.